welcome to the last ever day of vlogmas vlogmas day 12. i can't even believe i'm saying that to be honest it feels so surreal because december has absolutely flown by i think all of vlogmas has kept me so busy that it's just gone so quickly but you know what it's been such a journey and it's been so fabulous i've loved every second of doing it although i've been stressed at times it has been incredible and I've learned a lot and to anyone who joined us during Vlogmas, welcome. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. If you've just stumbled on this video and are just joining us now, firstly, you should probably go back and watch all the previous Vlogmas because this is not the best time to be joining on our last ever episode. Make sure you subscribe to my channel nonetheless. I do have so many exciting videos coming in the new year that I can't wait for you guys to see. Right now, I'm all dressed up. For Christmas Eve Eve, I'm wearing this cute dress from Sundays. I think I mentioned this in Vlogmas Day 11. My family celebrates Alec Christmas Eve on Christmas Eve Eve, which is tonight. That is because I go to Yeston's family, my boyfriend, on actual Christmas Eve and wake up with his family on Christmas morning. So we do a nice little celebration. We're having dinner, champagne, playing some games. And then we watch Elf, which has been a family tradition for so long. So I'm so excited to do that. We used to watch Elf every single Christmas Eve. I remember going to New York, to Paris for Christmas and bringing the actual DVD with me before Netflix and stuff like that. I've watched it my like whole life basically on Christmas Eve. So really excited to do that. We're gonna have some eggnog while we watch the movie. And yeah, it should just be a really nice night. So I'm excited to take you guys along and just show you guys all my like family Christmas Eve traditions. It'll be really cute and fun. Also, if you've been following along with the like tree saga, she's still standing. I'm really shocked that the Christmas tree is still standing and she looks really nice as well. Fingers crossed that she stays up until tomorrow, which will be our last day with her. <laughs> Tonight, prawn and pea risotto. Just a little something on Christmas Eve Eve. What goes in a prawn risotto? How do you make it? Well, it's got Spanish onion and it has lots of olive oil and a little bit of butter. It also has some garlic, some arborio rice, prawns, peas, and some beautiful fresh parsley. This is so, very Christmas yes. in Australia core cool because we always have prawns on Christmas, unlike cold countries that have a turkey. Absolutely. Shrimps, some of you might know them as. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of parmesan in at the end and some fresh basil, lots of cracked pepper. I'll show you how it's looking so far. It's got a long way to go, huh? It takes Absolutely. a while. It takes a while. Time consuming. It's a good half hour of stirring. Keep you stirring. just have to keep moving the rice around the pan, otherwise it sticks to the pan. And on a reasonably slow heat. A little bit of liquid, keep little stirring, a little liquid. bit of liquid. So we heat the liquid in the pan, in the pot, and we pop in a little bit at a time. Not too much, otherwise it gets soggy. Everyone's waiting patiently for dinner so we can play the game. <laughs> Absolutely. Gave you the Mamma Mia plate, did you notice? Oh, 
So for the past six years, maybe more actually, seven years, not you included, but I know you've seen the film a lot of times, we've watched Elf every single year. Correct. So on average, how many times do you think you would have seen it? Seven or more. I would say I've seen it 12 times. It's, I think it's probably been more than seven years. Um, so I thought we should do an elf quiz to see Ooh. who knows the film Ooh. best. Okay. We all know that it would be me if I was in the quiz. Cool. So I'm giving everyone a fair chance. Yeah, the yeah. Who's the second Lovely. biggest fan? So there are four options, like four possible answers. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is give you the question. And if um, you can't get it, then I give you the four choice. options. Okay? So should we... Yes, you need okay. some sort of buzz in. Maybe we need to tag. Question number one. Yes. What is Buddy's full name? Buddy <laughs> Elf. <laughs> close. Yes, yeah. It's close. It was one of my options, but should I read you the four options now? And please. then someone can buzz yes. in. Yes, please. Option number one, Buddy Hobbs. Option number two, Buddy Buddy. Option number three, Buddy the Elf. Option number four, Buddy Finch. Yes. Buddy the Elf. Buddy... Oh. Correct. Dad gets the point. Uh, of course he does. Question number five. Which Christmas song was Jovi singing in the shower? Yes. Santa baby. Oh. Correct. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Jingle bells. I thought this one would be so easy. Alright, it, it is easy. I'll get it as soon as you say. Wait, I'm thinking. And it's got kind um, of like... I'll give you a it's hint. A it's controversial today. in 2023. This yes, song. I know it is. Oh, it's, it's cold outside. Cold yes. outside. Yes. It's cold yes. outside. Yes. Maybe it's cold Go outside. Go yes, Jen. Why is that controversial? For Number me. eight. What gift does Buddy give his father? The... Yes. A, a box of cereal? No. Mum. Um, a singing telegram. He used well, a singing telegram. No, that's wrong. He, that's, that's right, he yeah. Come on, that's a gift! No, no he gives his father yeah. a photo of no. the father and the, no. and the mother. Well, oh, the it's a child's gift, isn't it? No, Mum, we were joking about this in TK Maxx the other day. What to give that special someone in your life? Oh, it's lingerie! Yes, got it. Uh, he gets it, he, yes. her, him red lacy lingerie. Yeah, correct. Sure. Number 10, what is Buddy's least favourite toy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So who's the winner? That's it. Well, they're tied. These two are tied. All right, hold on. I'll think up a deal breaker question. Okay. I'm just think of one. What is it that bonds Buddy the Elf and his biological little brother? His little brother? Well, now it's Elf. Yes. His snowball fight. Correct. Well, That's the big that. winner. Good game, everyone. And we're starting the day with a walk down by the harbour because it's still early and it's good to get the blood pumping <laughs> before we eat a bunch of sugary foods. this rainy weather so much for a sunny Australian Christmas we're getting a rainy chilly Christmas by the beach we got back from our walk and made a Christmas morning breakfast for the two of us it's like our date morning Christmas 
We're undecided on whether we want to open our presents or not. But I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll do it this afternoon before we go to Yestin's family house with like a glass of champagne and like when we're all dressed up and stuff because it kind of feels weird now that we've just been out exercising like to just do our presents feels a bit random. But we're gonna have breakfast. I made this fruit salad which looks really yummy and it's a good like healthy start to Christmas before all of the heavy eating and drinking. We had a lovely night last night watching Elf with my family, doing all the traditions, which was really cute. That movie literally never gets old. Like, I don't think I will ever be sick of it. The tree held up overnight. You can see her behind me. I'm honestly so impressed with that Gorilla Glue because I was not expecting her to last the night. I was expecting to wake up with her back on the floor. So, very excited. I put Yestin's presents under it. So she has presents under her, finally. It's a terrible day. The weather is so bad. We were expecting a beautiful sunny beach Christmas and it's raining. Tomorrow is predicted to be like a extreme weather event. I don't think we're going to get the beautiful summery Australian Christmas that we were hoping for, but you know what? Maybe it's more of a traditional Christmas this year if we're like cooped up inside. Okay, we're going to have breakfast and then I'll catch up with you after. <laughs> grandmother's traditional trifle recipe that I make every Christmas. My grandma used to make it. The first thing I need to do is cut up this jam roll and that makes the first layer of the trifle. The hardest part about making a trifle is not eating everything as you go. <laughs> now I'm just like arranging this over the entire base of the bowl. The trifle bowl is covered with jam roll, so now we need to coat all of the jam roll with sherry. That might have been a little heavy handed, but... She's coated, that's for sure. I'm going to grab the jelly from the back fridge. There was a controversy, controversy because... Nana Fraser used to use red and green jelly, but I don't like green jelly, so my trifle has red and yellow mango. It's going to taste even better, I think, and it's still traditional, just a different flavor. All right, custard going on. Put it on carefully so you don't all mix it together. Did you put um, two lots of jelly straight in the bottom? Yeah. It's supposed to go jelly, custard, jelly. Well, that wasn't going to work with this thin custard. Oh. It's going to be a sloppy one. It still tastes good. Though. I just smoothed all that cream out. So it goes cake, jelly, custard, cream. Now I need to add some fruit on top and that's it. That's it, she's ready. Easy as trifle. Now we need to clean up, which is probably gonna take longer than making the trifle. I made the trifle, I've packed my bags. I'm about to head over to Yestin's family to start the actual Christmas activities and everything. His nephews are gonna put out their sacks and then we'll probably just have Christmas drinks and stuff. I think we're going to a local restaurant to do like Christmas drinks and dinner and then we'll come back home, probably have an early night because we have to wake up for Christmas morning. Yestin's gone to the gym. While I wait for him to get back, I'm gonna edit this vlog, but I thought for my last little Vlogmas segment, I would do this little Christmas Q&A. I literally just found this on Pinterest. I typed in Christmas questions and this list came up. So I thought, let's end on a Christmas Q&A with Scarlett. The first question says, what is your favorite Christmas memory from growing up? I was really blessed as a child. My family traveled a little bit for Christmas. So my favorite memory would definitely be spending Christmas in New York City. That was amazing. On Christmas Day, we went ice skating at the Rockefeller Center. It was beautiful. That was one of my favorite trips. That was in 2014, I think. Did a Gossip Girl tour around New York City. Went on a horse and carriage ride through horse and carriage ride through Central Park. Tried my first ever gingerbread latte from Starbucks. 
went shopping on fifth avenue and bought i got a like a tiffany and co necklace and earring set for christmas that year that was one of my favorites ever but then i also spent christmas in paris when i was a teenager with my family which was so beautiful as well so they're my top two memories question number two if you could spend a christmas traveling where would you spend it i would love to go back to new york for christmas as an adult with yestin i think would be so beautiful but also i would love to do a white christmas like aspen or I've literally always wanted to go to Courcheval in France. Um, somewhere where it snows and like skiing on Christmas day, I think would be so beautiful. So tie between those, those two. What is the best present you have ever received? When I was younger, I used to get way more like spectacular presents. I think because I was a child, my parents would maybe spend a bit more money on me. Whereas now as an adult, there are like things that I would much, that I need their financial help with like, Know, if I can't pay a bill on a certain time or something like that so I don't really get like big designer gifts as an adult anymore but I remember being a teenager and being in Paris and we went to the Marc Jacobs store in Gallery, Gallery Lafayette, uh, Gallery Lafitte, I don't know how you say it, one of those. And I picked out the most beautiful Marc Jacobs handbag straight off the runway. It was a leopard print and I was so excited about that. Um, getting Tiffany & Co in New York City, that was really spectacular. Gosh, I'm <laughs> testing my memory. I've gotten coach bags, a little Louis Vuitton bag, but this was all when I was a teenager. I don't get the presents like that when I'm an adult anymore from my mom and dad. Um, Yestin and I aren't really in a financial position that I could ask him for a designer gift at the moment. Like he would get me it if I really wanted it. But again, like <laughs> I would much rather he uses that money to put towards us like traveling, having a holiday. That was a really, really long winded <laughs> answer to that question. Sorry. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Watching Elf on Christmas Eve Eve. What is a new tradition that you would like to start? Maybe, you know what? A new tradition I would like to start. I always, every year I want to get matching Christmas pajamas for Yestin and I to wear and like wake up on Christmas morning in. Um, but we've never gotten around to it for some reason. So that's a tradition that I will want to start next year. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Elf, because we have the tradition, but also I love The Grinch was my favorite when I was a child. I used to watch it with my grandma. So that one's really sentimental to me as well. The National, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I think is so funny. And I love the Netflix series Dash and Lily. I think it's so cute. What is your favorite Christmas treat to enjoy with a movie? Hot chocolate. If you could have any gift this year, what would it be? Probably first class flights to Paris. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to sign off here. This is going to be my last ever Vlogmas. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for Vlogmas. I saw so many of you guys, familiar faces in the comments of every video. Your support just means the world to me. And I love that you guys have been loving the videos too. It just makes me so happy that I've made this little community of us girly glamorous girls. If you liked this video, give me a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Vlogmas has been a challenge, but I've been really, really proud of myself for being so dedicated. I've learned a lot doing Vlogmas. I think I've gotten a lot better with editing. So I do think that posting multiple times in the week is something that's going to be a lot more attainable for me in 2024. And that is literally just because of the practice that I've had doing Vlogmas. So it's been really rewarding for sure. I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out. I hope each and every one of you have such a beautiful Christmas. I hope that you enjoy some time with family and friends and doing cute girly Christmas things. I, from here on, am going to take a little bit of a break, I think, from posting. I might be off until the first week of the new year. My birthday is actually on the 4th of January, so I'll just be enjoying some time at home with my family over the new years and my birthday. You'll be able to see how I spend my Christmas day on Instagram and TikTok, so make sure you're following me on those platforms and I'll see you guys in the new year. Love you and thank you again. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>